like gasoline. <laughs> that was close. Who else know how I go? You know what, boy? I know you know how I go, girl. Diamond in the back, sun rooftop, digging the scene with a gangster lane. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah, see, I've been checking out the food trucks. We got the orange cow. And My yeah, check. Capital. Uh, chicken and waffles over there. Hi, I'm Jennifer, everyone. Um, and along with Tendani, we are the two community coordinators. And we want to thank the Department of Motion Picture and Television Development for sponsoring this. And all of you for coming out. Ms. Jackson, thank you so much for coming on out here and providing us with a workshop today, getting people involved in abstract expressionism. So tell us a little bit about the family business and you know your connection to the community and your passion for the community. Sure. I'm Suzanne. I'm from the Jackson Family Art Show. We're three generations of artists, um, local artists. We are teaching art classes in the community because we just want to give art back to the community. We want children to express themselves with art. We want everybody to be able to connect with their artistic and creative side. We hope that you'll come by and see us at one of the events this summer. And we hope that you'll create some artwork with us. What's your name, little brother? Tyler. Tyler, where you from, Tyler? Washington, D.C. My man. Are you having fun today? Mm-hmm. Well, what did you do today? I see. I saw you painting earlier. What did you paint, man? Uh, it's a fi it's fire. Uh -huh. I really like it. I really like it. Do you know what kind of painting you were doing today? What? Abstract. abstract. Say it with me. Abstract. 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 Indeed, it's a way of expressing yourself without trying to say anything in particular, but just making sure that you say something that you want to say. You feel me? You think you're going to paint again in the future? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you painted before today? Uh, I never painted in a long time. I, I have, but I just don't remember. Wow, so good thing you got to paint today, huh? How you feel like these workshops are for the family? I think they're awesome. I think it's really good. Um, actually, he's actually at a school that's an art integration school, so I'm so excited to sort of share with them the experience that we've had over the summer, so this is good. Probably at least another maybe 45 minutes to an hour to complete that part. Just to kind of make sure I kind of keep the texture and then I have to go back in and make sure like there are some pieces that are further back, make, make them darker so there's some depth to the hair so it doesn't all look flat, you know. I want it to look as natural as possible. Wow, your smile is so beautiful this evening. <laughs> and who might you be? My name is Bernice. Bernice, what yes. brought you on out here today? Um, well, I wanted to check out the workshops and check out the movie that's supposed to be playing. So. And what movie is that? I think it's um, something about music because it was supposed to be the one from last week, but it rained out. So this week it's um, supposed to be with Black, uh, Black Music Month. So that's I right. I can't remember the name of the movie, but... Well, guys, if you're not here, we're about to watch 20 Feet from Stardom. Okay. That's and it's good. a movie about background singers who almost got close to being the main event but they just stayed in the background and lived a dynamic, wonderful life, helping other people sound great. What are we doing right now? I'm supposed to be creating abstract art. Supposed to be, you are, <laughs> indeed. And it's looking beautiful. Well, What's your vision you. right here? I don't have one, so. <laughs> Are you having fun? I am, I'm having well, fun. Well, you're having so. fun. That's what matters. Okay. So that way you can really cool off. Okay. And then I want to show you this skirt to go with it. I'm Kennedy, I'm um, the owner's daughter. But yeah. Okay, Kennedy. So what are you guys out here doing today? Um, we're actually 
letting all plus size divas and some regular sizes to come in and check us out and we converted an old FedEx truck into a mobile fashion boutique so it looks really like it and I mean all the clothes are plus size but handbags and accessories are all size fits one so yeah you can just come on in okay so I made this t-shirt when I was in you did? college or something I think now how can I get this in this fashion truck Okay, so you have to send your email to her, or we'll give you a card, and you know she'll put it in there because that's awesome. Or I'll buy one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if people want to hook up with you all, where do they email you at? At um, Curvy Chicks Chariot or Creative um, Curvy Chicks at gmail.com. Is your stuff affordable? What's your average price range? Um, I would say from about twenty to one hundred and fifty. But the higher prices are usually um, handmade stuff from our own personal vendors. Okay. But yeah. So you got some, uh, you know, pretty common stuff, and then you got some pretty couture, vintage yeah, exactly. type, exclusive. Most of our stuff is very exclusive. We go to New York, but we go to those weird, like, hard to find stores. Okay. And we find a whole bunch of exclusive, vintage, unique stuff so that the price of it is worth it. Curvy Chicks Chariot at the Gateway DC Summer Film Series.